Hi guys, Kchak here, World of Warcraft billionaire. I spent 8.5 million gold buying 10,000 bits of transmog in just a two week period of time. This is going to make me at least 100 million gold profit, but most likely a lot more based on past experience. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what is going on with this technique that the richest WoW players use to make millions on an almost daily basis. Then I'll talk about how you can be doing this from scratch, even if you have no gold yourself, to put yourself into a position to be making millions and millions of gold over time. Throughout the entire Shadowlands, I made over 1.3 billion gold in sales and almost 900 million gold profit. That is also over 66 million gold I paid in auction house cuts throughout the expansion, not that I'm bitter or anything. Now you could be forgiven for thinking that clearly I just did masses and masses of legendaries on multiple servers and sat cancel scanning for 16 hours a day. I was really early in legendaries and did make some good gold, I can't remember the exact number but for sure that was less than 20% of my profit from the expansion came from this. A huge portion of my profit came from what I'm going to talk about today and then you'll see why I bought 10,000 bits of transmog. Let's jump to real life for a minute. Say you have $500,000 in your standard bank account, why is this a terrible idea? Well, because inflation exists, so everything gets more expensive over time. In fact, if you have 10% annual inflation in just over seven years, what you can actually buy with that $500,000 has halved, which sucks. This is why people who do have money put it somewhere where its actual value is at least going to keep up with inflation. Some people put their money in shares, Others in property. Crypto is becoming more popular. I even have some real life friends who are buying up gold and silver and burying it in a back garden. And that's understandable. We all have that secret stash investment that we are hoping is really going to pay off. All of these are supposed to gain value over time and make it so that what you initially invested at least keeps up with inflation and ideally gains in value. Now, this doesn't always work, but some things, like property, over a long period of time are extremely reliable at gaining value, faster than wages rise to the annoyance of anyone trying to buy a house these days. All of this is relevant to WoW. For a start, inflation is a factor in WoW. You can see this clearly with the price of the WoW token always going up over time. It does have its dip when demand spikes as new content releases, but over a long period of time, is only ever going up. There is always more gold coming into the game than is leaving it, so this will always be the case. Also, just like in the real world, if you really want to do well, you should invest your gold and time into things that are going to appreciate, not depreciate over time, so you're gaining value, not losing it. This is why I bought 10,000 bits of transmog, and what you're actually seeing on screen is a small amount of my guild banks full of stuff that I have, at least the stuff that's not currently on the auction house anyway. Some of this is just general bits that I've picked up on the cheap, but a lot of it is things that I've invested in knowing that they're going to increase in value over time. Now I hate repeatedly using the same examples, especially as this isn't the best one to use, but this is really is the best information I have for now and shows that you can really make a 10 to 20 times investment back in gold. Now no one was ever supposed to see this. I especially didn't have any intention of sharing it on a video, so you'll have to excuse how ugly my Excel is. Obviously I've spent millions of gold investments here, but these could also have been farmed, but I'll get on to what you should do if you don't have that sort of gold later in the video. This is my purchases and sales from the Corfia Shoulder Transmog that you can see sort of every six months or so I update it. If we skip to February 2022, at this point I've bought a total of 1,757 bits of transmog for a total price of 18.7 million gold. You can see I've sold a total of 222 of these for 24.7 million gold. That leaves me with 5.9 million gold profit at this stage with 1,535 shoulders left to sell. Basically by February 2022 I was already turning a decent profit on this investment and had sold less than 15% of the items that I'd originally invested in. Skip forward to August 23, just a few months ago, 
and my current totals have 1,047 stock left to sell, sitting on over 100 million gold profit from the investment, with an expected profit of over 390 million gold eventually. So I turned an investment of 18.7 million gold into 100 million gold profit, with about another 290 million gold to come. Assuming the prices stay the same, which is unlikely, they'll probably go up if anything. There is two things you should take from this. Number one, you can definitely get 10 or even 20 times profit on an investment, which is just insane. The second point is the one I really want to let you sink in because it's the important one. I started this investment around July 2021, so that was well over two years ago, and I still haven't come even close to selling half of what I originally bought. This is insanely profitable, but it's also insanely long-term, and you need to know, understand, and appreciate that going into things like this. I'm still selling BFA Island Expedition gear that I picked up cheap in the middle of that expansion. You can also think of it this way though. Now that this is set up, just this investment alone, and I obviously have many others, is making me around about 200k profit a day, or about 15 WoW tokens a month. So how did I know these things were going to increase in value? This is actually really easy. The value is something is basically based on supply and demand. If supply goes up, like more people are farming something, and demand stays the same, then the price will drop as more farmers are trying to sell something to the same amount of buyers. If we switch it around and supply drops, but demand stays the same, so there's less people farming it, but there's the same amount of people wanting to buy it, then the price will increase as the buyers are having to compete with limited amounts of stock. You can see this happen really quickly when a YouTuber releases a video on something new, and a lot of the time the price absolutely plummets as the number of people farming it, the supply goes through the roof suddenly. What we are after then if we want to make a lot of gold are things that we know have a long term drop in supply, so less people are going to be farming it in the long term. At the time of recording we are waiting for the release of 10.2, Now, I would say it's safe to assume that less people are going to be in Zawalik Heavens when that patch releases as we have a brand new zone so the supply of anything from there will likely drop and when the next expansion releases it's going to drop off even more. Therefore I would say it's not crazy to think that most things exclusively from Zawalik Heavens are going to increase in price over time. Most stuff that's farmed from the general Dragonflight zone will see a lot less farming over time as well, especially come the next expansion release. This is basically what I have done then. I have bought 10,000 bits of Dragonflight Transmog and they're going to be sitting in guild banks. I literally won't touch these until after the next expansion releases at least and probably a good few months after. And based on all this, then these are likely to increase in price quite a lot over time. Just remember though, that in order for the price to increase, you not only need for the amount of people farming it to drop, but you also need the demand to stay about the same. Things like transmog, mounts, pets and toys, these are all great as they have a consistent demand. Things like ore and herbs will be much less farmed too, but these won't increase in price simply because the demand will drop as well, as no one will be using them for crafting anymore once the expansion is over. Right, next I'm going to talk about the average player, but first, as per every video I release, I need to give away some gold on both the EU and US realms. I have a character called I Need Gold on Aegwin server on both the EU and US realms right now, near the Volpira starting location and I'm logged in right now at the time of release of this video. The first person to come to them and open up a trade window gets the 500k gold that they have on them. Sorry if you missed out this time, if you have notifications turned on for the channel it will help you make sure you see the next video and the giveaway as well. Anyway, back to the video. So you're watching this video about millions and millions of gold and your main has 40k gold, where do you go from here? If you need gold now for game time or something, then you literally do not have a choice. You need to go and farm what pays off now. If you are in a position where you feel like you can farm, but you don't really need the payoff right now, then farming things that are going to increase in value may well be a better route for you long term. Think of it this way. There may be a transmog or toy that's 20k on the auction house. Say you get one an hour, 20k an hour, that's fine. 
But if you know it's something that's going to get rarer and more valuable over time because of what we discussed earlier, then that 20K, maybe 40K, 50K, 100K, suddenly that goal per hour that you're looking at is looking really good. The only issue is the idea that I really wanted to let soak in for you and that you may have to leave this sat in a bank for a year or 18 months before that value has really increased. Now I know this is not what you want to hear. You want to come to a video and be told something that's going to put gold in your mailbox tomorrow and I do do those sorts of videos too but I also want to do videos that can make you millions or even hundreds of millions of gold and that is never quick and easy. As soon as you change your mindset to thinking much more longer term, then eventually you're going to be so much more successful as a gold maker, however good you currently are. The next few videos I release are actually going to be farming videos following on from this topic. They're going to be concentrating on things that you can farm and sell now if you want to, and some of them are selling really well already, but mostly they are designed to be the sort of things I've discussed in this video and are going to increase in value over time so well worth keeping locked away until the next expansion at least. Thanks for watching guys.